I am back in Long Beach with my friend Luis Tabone. You remember Luis from his front yard garden video that I did with him last year? Last year, yes. And he invited me down to the one year anniversary of the crop swap. Is there an official name for the crop swap? North Long Beach Crop Swap. And we're going to be talking to Jeff and Phil, the guys that started it, and find out all the exciting things that are happening in this community right here, right now. Yes. Awesome. Do you remember me, James? Do you remember me? <laughs> We had a crop swap on our Grant Neighborhood Association sort of goal list. And um, it, it sat there for a year or so. And then uh, I met Ryan and mentioned this to him. And as, as I'm talking to him about it, I can hear him typing. He was making up the flyer to do it the following sort of Saturday. So that's how we launched it a year ago today. It works on a whole lot of levels. It, it brings the community together, which is an important part of it. It gives people a chance to sort of meet, greet, and they've got a whole bag of avocados and more than they can eat uh, or some other output from their yard. So they can put it here and they can go back with a whole um, bag of things that they didn't grow. If we can evangelize people to sort of grow fruits and veggies in their yard, they're gonna eat better and they'll participate in this. We do have uh, classes back at our little, little farm uh, that's on this site as well. Um, so we want to have sort of the whole sort of circle here. We teach people how to grow fruits and veggies and then when they do it, they come here and they can, they can participate in this. These are people who maybe uh, didn't know each other, uh, didn't know how to prepare what you know, their neighbor grew and they go home with new friends, uh, new foods, and new ways to prepare them. And we go year round because you know, in California you can, uh, you can segue just from warm season to cool season and you know, back to warm season. So we always have some output. This is on Gundry at the corner of 65th. It's now the 9th district field office for Vice Mayor Rex Richardson. He uses some of the offices in the front. We converted the side into our farm, which is kind of the nexus for all of this. And did you also develop the front, which is a, uh, a dry landscape? We did, and you know, now it's a climate friendly garden with a swale in the middle, and people can come by, the plants are all labeled, and they can say, oh, Ethel, I like this plant, let's get one of those. This was you know, community wonder because um, this was also just weeds. The farm, it's 19 feet by 55 feet, so in the scheme of things, it's a pretty small farm. But because the climate is so good, because the soils are so good, the output is phenomenal. Um, our first crop, we made enough full plate salads to feed 358 people, and we really only, only dented the output um, back there. They're all just row crops so that we can sort of maximize the space we got and we use a little walkway in between each. But we also want to maximize the utility of it as sort of a teaching vehicle too. So we've segmented all of, all of the crops so we can say, oh, here's how you grow this. Here are some of the problems with that. And so the typical Saturday is a class first thing and then the students go and work on the farm. When you're not doing this, what do you do? What's your real job? I've been a reporter all my life. Orange County Register, Wall Street Journal, a couple of TV stations, Associated Press. But now I teach journalism at Fullerton College in Cal State Fullerton um, and work on a couple of other uh, media ventures. So this is kind of a hobby that grew into like a little um, uh, a, a, a job and, and a, a quest, I think, to um, be able to do kind of multiple good things, to get people to be able to grow things and exchange them. Uh, to encourage healthy eating and backyard growing. We have 14 grocery stores that, well, you know, it's that old saying that everything's in walking distance so you have the time, so some are maybe a couple of miles away. But it doesn't matter, I don't think, how close they are. If people have gotten into the habit of eating uh, fast foods, um, junk foods, prepared foods, it doesn't really matter if the grocery store is next door. So we're really trying to change people's habits, change uh, the way that they really live their lives because we want them to eat better, we want them to exercise more, um, we want them to live longer and use the medical system less. I'm Rebecca and this is a cactus apple and it grows on these huge column size um, cactuses and um, they pretty much fruit only once a year and I brought about 10 of them. That's awesome. Yeah. My name's Annika and I brought a variety of just random things from my garden today. So 
I had some extra aloe um, that was making babies, so I've got a lot of little ones. Got some herbs, so this is sage, I think it's Spanish sage, uh, rosemary and lavender and various succulents, and some salad greens. Too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, what are you going to get? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to have to see what's up there. Good? Wow. All right. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, which one? These are quail eggs, yeah. Yeah, oh, these are my favorite. These are the pekins. Oh, there's one more. Okay. I'm gonna have to look at what's Yeah, they. I mean, they last for quite a while. This is two months in the fridge. Okay. Um, these are all. What do you got there? To me oh, I got some quail eggs. So. Isn't that cool? Just Ryan reached out to us and asked us if we would bring some coffee and kind of introduce ourselves to the neighborhood. That's great. Have they talked you into getting uh, going with gardening yet? We would love to do that. We don't have the space for it yet, but we have the potential to do it. That's right. So what are you finding that you like? Figs right now. Uh, there's two swappers that brought figs and they look very good and very different from each other. And also some limes. Oh, limes. Yes. I'm going to have to grab a couple of those. <laughs> Hi, I'm Melissa Botten. I'm, I'm a holistic nutritionist and a yoga instructor, and I teach people how to heal their bodies or promote more wellness with food and yoga. So I'm working with the youths here in Long Beach to help cultivate this awareness from a very young age, and this is how I met Marlene. Hi, my name is Marlene. I'm a television producer. Um, I travel around the world making um, television shows, but when I'm not working, I'm here volunteering at the North Long Beach Victory Garden. And what it is, it's an opportunity for volunteers in the community to come out every weekend and volunteer some time to help us grow fruits and vegetables for the community. And we hand them out on the North Long Beach Crop Swap that happens here once a month. So if you're having a couple of extra hours throughout the week or in the weekends, you're more than welcome to come out here and visit us at the District 9 Field Office in North Long Beach and volunteer some time in our garden. Hi, my name is Richard Garcia. I'm the co-founder of Alma Backyard Farms. We grow quite a few seasonal veggies. Today we brought some of the food we're growing in East LA. Some sweet basil, uh, Georgia collards, uh, yellow squash, and some zucchini. Yeah, Erica Cuellar with Alma Backyard Farms, co-founder of um, the organization, and we're here to support the Crop Swap. So we work with people who are in re-entry and recovery. We're working with uh, men and women who are leaving the criminal justice system, looking for opportunities to, to really re-enter and find community. Our program provides stipends and, and employment opportunities to people who are who are leaving the system. So we offer a training program with hands-on learning at our sites. It would equal to about just a little less than half an acre. Wow. Uh, you could get a whole lot from a small plot, Absolutely. is what we say. Uh, I said I wanted to see what they brought today, and she said, <laughs> this is what she had to show me. She set it down and it went away, and I was doing an interview with Jeff at the time, and I, n I didn't even get to see it. So I am going to go and do a video at their Compton location. Great. In September. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. I'm Roderick Dodd of Organic Harvest Gardens, and we're in Long Beach. We're on 68th and Atlantic Avenue, and we grow for restaurants in the area. Oh, for restaurants. That's awesome. And you are? My name is Adam Romick, and I'm the co owner along here with Rod. And we just here at the Crop Swap today to really give our support for North Long Beach, for local communities, to go hyper local, and to make everything sustainable for Long Beach. Awesome. So you're just sharing some produce with the crop shoppers today. Right, we are. Right. right. And, and usually because it's our community and it's our neighborhood. So we want to be a part of it. I am at the Crop Swap in Long Beach, North Long Beach, right? North Long Beach, yeah. With Phil Giesen, and Phil is actually German, and I was just in Giesen, Germany. And Phil was just telling me that he's had a life of service, starting with the Peace Corps. The Peace Corps. And then when you came here, he was working with Head Start. Yeah. When did you become a Master Gardener? Um, in about... 86, 87. We got to get back, to get more people back to growing their own food and figuring out where food comes from. You know, it's fun and it's, you know, you just feel good sometimes and, you know, you all got to learn. That's so, right. That's well, let's go check out okay. your, your urban farm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hi, I've got some beautiful fresh lacinato kale. No aphids? Tomato. No aphids. It's like a blue-green fresh. Wow. 
Lots of chlorophyll. Hey, what's your name? My name's Melissa. Did you participate in the crop swap? Oh, I did. What did you bring today? I brought verbena that nice. somebody grabbed up for some tea. And I brought some another kind of kale. It's the red boar kale. Obviously, people have kale growing in the heat down here. I'm surprised. Mine is not doing as well, not my dinosaur kale, but yes, theirs is doing beautifully here. So these are lodge poles that we got from the city. They're from tree planting projects we had. And then uh, Marlene, you know, who was in our first class, she was also a woodworker. So she kind of scrounged this, this, um, these pieces, you know, got the, the cord, and then we, well, she put these all together like on a Saturday. Yeah. And, and you, um, but we, we could spend a, have to spend a lot of money on tomato racks, like we've got one or two, but we just couldn't afford it. Well, then the irrigation went out for four days, oh, and um, the uh, it was an electrical problem, and we solved it. But nonetheless, hand watering it just it doesn't some of the soil dried out. But for the tomato fest last week, we gave everybody that came a bag, uh, a variety bag of tomatoes. We just had hundreds and hundreds. Marlene, how many bags did we have at the tomato fest? Um, out um, 120 bags. This from this garden? From this garden. I've got the figure at home, but it's something like 2.3 pounds per square foot or something uh, that you can get in California. What variety? I don't know. We got the sign. Or something. Those are called black plum cherry small fruit. Unique and very tasty.